bat. It's been really good to see her get back in it. And she goes after the drop ball. That bounced back to the mound and gathered in by Moore, and that's an easy one, two, three inning for Mara Moore as OSU is turned. Within ourselves, we know what we're capable of on both offense and defense. Don't try to do too much or do too little, you know, based on the fact that they are ranked six right now, Bruce. A good short hop by Edwards, and Denson is retired. One down here in the... He has always hit for Tulsa. That ball hit high and fairly shallow to left. Graf has no trouble with it. Two down. Players that have been around and that have been here. And that's a nice one-hop play by Godwin. Godwin, who has played some other positions in the infield, shows why she's got that range. A nice back. Oh, Caroline Wong. A one one count. Bounce toward shortstop. Edwards cleanly. One down from Kansas. And she is going now. Here's the throw. Out on a good throw by Vickery. And the coverage by Imani Edwards. So Davis gets cut down. The play. And a tapper back to the mound. And she has faced the minimum so far, Mara Moore. But you see how Uncle played actually at Oklahoma State. That's lined down the left field line just inside the thir uh, third base left field line. And that's a two bagger for Skaggs. And it is the first base. Opportunities like this. 2-2 two -two pitch is hit high and fairly shallow to left. Graf able to capture it and Skaggs cannot advance. One down here in the second inning. And she said it especially with respect to, you know, that. Their last eight, but it was some of those tests early in the season. That's a line shot, but good catch by Graf. That ball was hit on the nose by Bearpaw. Two down. Graf having a, some experience. Goes 62 to 66, occasionally a little bit more than that. And there's another one hit to the left side and another catch made by Graf. And that does it for Tulsa. Lead almost like she has to go out to the bullpen and drag her off the field. <laughs> that one's going to be a tough play. It's an infield hit. Schneidmiller has the first base hit of the game for his players to do, just doing what she can. Really good leadoff single there for her. Bun attempt is popped up and it is caught by Skaggs. Well, Skaggs was all over that. She was sprinting towards. Playable for Edwards. Two down. That ball hit well to center field, but playable. And Morgan is there. And Mara Moore pitches out of trouble. The Golden Hurricane will come to the plate in the bottom of the third inning. They're tied 0-0 with number. Hurricane not far behind. As you mentioned, the good batting average, 337 coming into today as a team. And that's a high, hard one, and she couldn't catch up to it. Cole strikes out, one down in the Thilsa scoreless here in the third. Playable for the second baseman, Davis. Two down. Well, the batter is Mackenzie Denson. <laughs> Probably. 2-1 pitch. That one tapped to shortstop, but right there is Bloodworth, and that's it for Tulsa. Wait, add power. Just got a pretty swing, and there it is. That is deep to left center field, but again, tracking it is Morgan. And if there's any ball, and it's really all of the outfielders, but certainly the two center fielders in this game have them up. That one blooped towards center, but Abby Jones able to get to it. Two down. Yeah, that one. Down, it's Caroline Wong. That one nubbed to the right side, and a little bit of an in-between hop there for Abby Jones, but she makes the play toward, you know, left field, or I should say the left side of this stadium. And it's Edwards, no problem with that play, and Morgan is out. One Godwin made a good backhand play, and that ball hit hard, and that's a base hit toward the gap. Edwards looking for two, now she'll look for three as the ball eludes Tim. It is a stand-up triple for Amani Edwards, and the Hurricane has their first base runner. Another 2-2. Two -two. That's lying yeah. to left center field, and it's a base hit, and that goes to the wall. Edwards scores into second base as Skaggs slides in with a double.
Tulsa leads 1 0 over number six, OSU. Skaggs two for two, and an RBI double here in the fourth inning with one out. That was a no doubter, Bruce. And it almost looked like maybe Rosie Davis wasn't expecting Claire to keep running because positioning wise, she was a little bit off the plate. And Clara. One more year for the Golden Hurricane. That one to the right side will move the runner, but the play is made by Davis. Two down and Hall. Two balls, two strikes. And she gets her. See, but he's been quite efficient. Popped up right side. And Jones takes care of it for Tulsa. One down in the fifth inning. Michaela. Work the bat. OSU ended up winning the game. That one toward left field, and is that a catch? No, it's hopped in. It's a trap for Mackenzie Denson, and Mackenzie appears to be shaken up. And that's ball four. So that's the second walk. And a runner at second. Work and uh, Schneid Miller at first with a free pass. She's been going to try to sh slam the door. Bouncer to third. Skaggs makes the play, but runners move up into scoring position. Work to third. Schneid Miller to second. Two down, and Macy Graff, the scheduled hitter. It's important with Mora ahead in this count to really be selective about what she throws. And she gets her with an outside corner. 2-2. Two -two. That one, nice snag by Acock. Otherwise, that might have gotten up the middle for a base hit. Wood is retired. One down in the fifth in center. That one blooped toward right center field, but the second baseman getting back there. And Rosie Davis makes the play two down. I believe it's Scotland. And a nice breaking ball and he and she's able to get victory and victory strikes out and that is the second strikeout for Kyra Acock absolutely and it's a lot of hate young ladies figure it out yourself mm -hmm. and obviously Mara Moore has figured it out kind of an off speed pitch but this is a power screw ball and it goes away from those left handed hitters not that time though as Tim laces a base hit to left field one out and one on for them didn't know how to swing yeah they uh, had swim to <laughs> and so they had to figure out how to save the one girl which they did and they were never in danger there's a strikeout two down here in the sixth inning and just to finish today or this year I big pitch coming here popped up and playable for Jones Abby makes the catch and again Mara Moore able to pitch out of danger in the sixth the base hit by Tim but that's it for us coming up to the plate that one's on the outside edge. Strike three to Mackenzie Denson. Third strikeout for Kyra Acock. That one hit hard, and that's a base hit, and that one rolls into the gap. It's extra bases for Morgan, and she has a one-out double. We'll get another look at that swing from Haley Morgan. She did a really good job adjusting. One and two count. And she golfs that one into right field. Rounding third, Morgan now a late stop sign. And probably a good idea for head coach Chrissy Strimple. She was really, she's really turned the corner under her. That one misses a throw to third and a steal. Tulsa steals second, Amani Edwards off and moving. And for Amani. Two, two. Oh, and she went after that hard drop ball, and that's a huge strikeout for Oklahoma State as Skagg strikes out at half of the sixth. That one right through the legs of the third baseman, scoring is Morgan. Edwards scores. Tulsa 3 0. Yeah, that's got to be a hard one for Talon Edwards to stomach at third. That one just right through the glove. And hit pretty hard. And of course, they're playing a little bit in. 
So interesting to see if they score that a base hit. Uh, there are a lot of times anything that goes through the wickets is, is an error, but we'll see. At any rate, Tulsa probably doesn't care. They've scored twice here. Now with a 3 nothing charge to Kyra Aycock. That ball hit pretty well to center, but drifting back and making the catch is David, and that is it for Tulsa. But they fall. And that's right at the second baseman on two hops, and Jones takes care of business. One down here in the seventh inning. Finishing that thought, even on these counts that have run. Two and one count. Popped up, shallow center. Coming on, and unable to make the play is Haley Morgan on a fly ball to center. And Popped up, shallow left, going back is Edwards, and Edwards makes the catch this time. And she was calling. Ball four. Oklahoma State still alive, and now the tying run will come to BYU starting on Friday. Again, one strike away. Bounce to the right side, and the hop played by Abby Jones, and she takes care of business, and Tulsa takes care of business. The University of Tulsa has upset number six, Oklahoma State. Huge win for the Golden Hurricane program as Tulsa gets to 19-8 and eight overall. Oklahoma State, number six team in the country, drops to 24-4. and four. Final play, ball hit fairly hard, but Abby Jones, the experienced veteran, able to get it done defensively, and Tulsa has upset the number six team in the nation.